Yes, hello, welcome! Welcome back guys, on the Tech Video with Human and Sutan and today we're talking about Dell XPS 15 quality control issues. There is no surprise that the Dell XPS 15 has suffered by many quality control issues. As you can see from our comments during our Dell XPS 15 videos and Reddit, of course you have seen so many subreddits about Dell XPS 15 and this is not only to the new model but previous models also so we're gonna break down every issue one by one so human welcome to the Dell Express 15 family as I see you have bought one yes. yourself Tell uh, us. it's it's an amazing computer it's a uh, price value for the money the hardware is amazing why when you get an excellent fully functioning unit <laughs> yes but uh, it was a hassle to get a fully functional unit uh, this is not my first xps i bought the 9570 xps the i7 version and um, so i bought it directly from dell and when i got it it had some fan issues but it wasn't cool wine or anything like that it was like what was it? A mechanical yeah, mechanical uh, sound. Sound, and it also had some backlight. Please, yes, issues. it was uh, ridiculous. That that was not uh, by any standards a uh, minor backlight. Please, it was like everywhere. <laughs> so <laughs> on yeah. All the sides. So uh, I contacted them, and uh, I, they wanted to uh, send a Dell technician on the spot, uh, but I declined to that offer because Sudan did the same thing, and they couldn't get that. To work so soon uh, at least got a new uh, xps that was fully functional but no it wasn't it had some backlight lead issue it, but it fixed that. it and the keyboard also had some issues but we're going to yeah talk about that later yeah but i wasn't uh, so keen on uh, going through that hassle because it took like one month for you to get that yeah more than one month to be able to use my computer <laughs> so i said no and i wanted a refund and i got that so then i looked at uh, blocket that is a swedish uh, second hand um, store, store yeah. like uh, you buy things second hand and uh, i found this uh, xps uh, this is the 9570 but the i5 uh, version yes and uh, he got me some uh, extra ram so i got 16 gigabytes of no 32 32, 32 gigabytes oh. of ram and this was only for 32 13k swedish yeah. krona so it was a really affordable and uh, i was sure that it was a functional unit because he had tested all of this and he went through the hassle that Suter went through so i and I he knew for about all of the subreddits yeah, that I talked about. Thing. So uh, <laughs> I th thought for myself, like, I'll buy this. Uh, and then I get a fun fully functional unit uh, on the set. Um, and um, I'm really happy with this choice. Okay, so Human talked about that I was having issues with my first unit. And that had a fan and off on and off issue. The fans were like on for three seconds, then off for three seconds, and on, off, on, off. And that was driving me insane. They tried with the tail technician on yeah, site. Yes. <laughs> as, as we said, the tail technician on spot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and they tried to fix it. They tried to replace the motherboard, the fan controller, and whatnot. <laughs> okay, it failed horribly. So I contacted them. I wanted to get a new one. I got a new one and it had some issues with the keyboard, it had backlight bleed issues and I had really, I really had to go out of my way to make them uh, re replace the screen because they wasn't accepting the backlight bleed, they said it was, no it's nothing, but I sent them some photos and then they accepted it, accepted it and replaced the screen, so now I have a fully functioning unit, but okay. Let's go on with the issues one by one. So we're gonna go one issue one by one. Yeah. We talked about the fan issues. So I had the fan and on cycle, on and off cycle that many subway reddits have talked about. And you had uh, had another. Uh, yeah, uh, my wasn't uh, my problem wasn't the same as many Reddit users or, or you experienced. It was like a mechanical uh, sound, like 
something yeah, faulty or it something wasn't buzzing. It was buzzing sound. Yeah, uh, and that was not on and off. It was on all the time. Yeah, so there are some very clear issues with the fans on the Dell Experience 15. So the second issue, backlight bleed. It's very much talked about in the subreddits, in the comments of every YouTube video out there. So what is backlight bleed, human? Yeah, backlight bleed, uh, we can show a picture here. Uh, it's when on the edges, the light leaks on the edges of the screen. And as you see here on the picture, an example, it looks awful. And it's really terrible when you watch it movies, uh, yeah. dark uh, movies or dark images, or if you just have a black picture, you really see it visible. Yeah, or if you have the brightness uh, all the way down because you, you know, during the night, you don't want the brightness all the way up. So I had some issues with my second unit with backlight bleed issues my first unit didn't have anything i didn't notice anything and human you also had some yeah uh, my first unit uh, that was uh, ridiculous that was a lot of backlight bleed it was like wasn't it like all the way yeah i think it was all the way it was it was, it was much way. worse yes. than mine uh, but on the on the corners it was uh, very visible but it was a subtle uh, backlight bleed on the middle of the edge but uh, it wasn't uh, pleasant, so I'm really happy with this unit and I don't <coughs> see any backlight bleed on this unit. Uh, but as I said, when you get a fully functional XPS uh, 15, you'll, you'll be happy, but otherwise... The sad thing here is that Dell wants us to accept the backlight bleed issues yeah. most of the time. They want us to like be happy with it. it. Yes, of course, there will be some slight backlight bleed. Mine has some, but... You uh, cannot have too much. Yeah, the, the level that they want you to accept, it's uh, ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous, uh, yeah. It's like uh, all the ways, it's corners in the, everywhere. It's really bad and, you know, I really had to go out of my way, you know, call them, email them and whatnot. Human, it was horrible. You remember my yeah. experience. Uh, but we discussed this, like, uh, last week that uh, the XPS, it's such an amazing computer and has the potential to, like, kill. Apple. Yeah, yeah, uh, completely. But uh, completely. the the Dell the, uh, technicians or what uh, what is it? The, the, yeah, the quality control. Quality control. Yeah, uh, it really fails Dell, and I don't know why they don't yeah. up the game on the quality control because Such if a shame. if they only do that, they can just be uh, top on the market and compete with all the other manufacturers. Yeah, because this is a really nice uh, thin and light device with all of the power that you need as a content creator. But yeah, on to the next issue. On to issue number three, the keyboard issues. This is not widely spread, but I really want to talk about it anyway. It was some keys on my keyboard that was, wasn't clicking all the way. It, has, uh, it didn't register the keys that I was pressing, so they had to replace my keyboard. That was... You know, but that was an easy process, the Dell technician, he yeah, came, and, yeah, yeah. but, but uh, nothing against Dell uh, technician on spot, they are amazing and they do it with such a, a fast uh, yeah, uh, they, operate, they, they are amazing, but... Uh, absolutely, nothing against them, but, the, you know, it, this is... This, this is, is such is, again, a shame uh, that they even have to come. You have to make your customers happy, we are paying a premium price for a premium product, and we want a premium product in return. So, yeah, on to the next issue. The next issue is coil wine. I had it on my first device, we forgot to mention it. But coil wine, man, was it disturbing. It was like, all the time, you know. Yeah. Coil wine on such a expensive device human yeah. come on but Del, that, that's doing? always been my argument when i talk to Dell. Uh, i pay a premium price it's not uh, cheap it's like 20k on 20k swedish krona and uh, you should get a fully functional unit i, I cannot demand any less uh, and that's why i feel that you should get a premium device and premium service but you yeah, get coin wine like, instead. <laughs> we, uh, as, uh, this video is not supposed to bash Dell. We only want to raise awareness and we want Dell to fix those quality control issues because 
We really believe in you, Dell. Yes. We see potential. We love Dell. That's why, even though Sutton had his progress, I bought a Dell. And I knew the hassle he went through. So this is not to bash Dell. This is Dell. Please fix the quality control issues and uh, be a premium uh, manufacturer. And, uh, you and yeah, will... and kill Apple. <laughs> and kill Apple. So we love Dell, and that's why I even bought Dell after uh, Sudo went through all the hassle because we just want to raise awareness that they have problems, and we don't want to be biased. Uh, as on the review, uh, we talked about uh, the issues. Yeah, we and, talked about them. And briefly. we uh, received. I, I was shocked how many comments we received on many people having issues with Yeah, the and there were so many people who wanted a follow-up video because they were talking about the issues I had and issues they had so they really wanted a follow-up story so here yeah. we are giving another story from yes. human here <laughs> so we really wanted to go in depth so you can see that yeah. the Dell Express 15 does have some problems but as human said when you get a fully functional unit it is very worth it this is an amazing quality device. You can see the aluminium, the carbon fiber. This is really yeah. something. And uh, many people on the comments wanted uh, to know uh, your story. Did you get a fully functional uh, express unit? But we never made a video about it. So here we are doing this video. That yeah, you, that got, uh, you got a fully functional unit yeah. at uh, last. Yeah, and on that note, we can end the video and we want to thank you so much for watching this video. Yeah. And, yeah. and don't forget to comment on this video if you have any questions about the Dell XPS and we'll be happy to answer your question as, as we can. Yeah. As we <laughs> and don't forget to like this video and uh, that bell icon, you cannot forget that so you get notified when we upload our latest videos and the subscribe button because we do want to provide you the content you want and this is why we made this video about the Dell XPS follow-up story and don't forget this is Shuman <laughs> Asuta Shuman Asuta